What's up, fly humans? So today, today I have a little story video. So to break it down to you, this is pretty much how I got exposed while modeling. I be told in yumbles, bitch, that's every day. Let my white bitch hold the yumbo, call her Mary Kay. When my spot get hot like lava, gotta stay away. Yeah, modeling isn't all that great. And uh, if you guys didn't know, I do some freelance modeling and it's really fun but there are times when things go the way you didn't expect them to or they take advantage of you and i just gotta make this video because i want you to be aware of what could happen to you while modeling no this is not a sexual assault <laughs> okay i am fine it's just kind of disappointing what happened let's start it off like this so i started modeling about two years ago kind of through Instagram and just knowing people in like the fashion worlds. That's the best way to do it is just, you know, connecting with people at events, at, at fashion shows and, you know, taking headshots and then submitting them to different brands or agencies. The majority of the brands I model for were Asian. I don't know, Asian people really like my hair and I guess they just like my look. Model for about like 10 Asian brands mainly Korean, so this is a Korean brand and it's called Nerdy. Now this is, I'm not trying to shout them out because I don't support them. They hit me up. This is when I had like 3,000 followers on Instagram, so. <sighs> yeah, it was a little um, surprising how they found me, but. So I get a DM from this random Korean lady like, hey, I'm start we're starting this brand. Uh, we'd love for you to model. It's going to be super popular in Korea, but we just haven't put out anything yet. I'm like a little suspicious. And then they're like, can we meet at a blah, blah, blah. They have a hotel in the city. So I say yes. I go there. I'm a little suspicious. Everything's cool. There's another person. Uh, there's another model there. I thought the clothes were cool. We do the first shoot. And that goes well, you know. Here's some of the photos. Bam, bam, bam. They did put me in a lot of makeup, but I kind of, I kind of look like a ghost. So it was like a skater vibe. So we took photos around um, Midtown, and then, bam, we do another shoot. We shoot some more. They pay me a little more this time. Everything's cool. And then, so I get a, I get a random text. They said, Hey, could you send a baby photo? of yourself to us a baby photo you you guys want a baby photo of me and they're like yeah yeah uh sure okay <laughs> and so i sent it to them they're like oh thank you thank you next thing you know a week goes by and they're throwing this event and they made stickers of me me the baby photo that i sent them with their logo over it. And at first I'm just like, oh, this is so funny. Like, yo, I got my own sticker. And then I'm like thinking about it. Like, did they ask to use my image? Did I say I could let them put their brand over my face and use it as promotion? Now I'm seeing this sticker a lot more than I thought. And then all of a sudden we do another shoot, right? And I come to the shoot, I'm like, what's up guys? And then I see a shirt, not just any shirt, a shirt of my baby face on it with their logo over it. Of course my reaction is, yo, I got my own shirt with my face on it. Are you serious? Like, this is crazy. This is the best day ever. Okay, so here's the shirt. As you can see, this is me as a little, little kid. And that's their logo put underneath my... Then I'm thinking to myself the next day after I did the shoot with me wearing my face. I'm thinking like, wait, they're, they're going to sell my face. And they're going to make money off of me when I didn't agree to this. And my face could be places I didn't want it to be on people I don't want it to be. And next thing you know, nerdy takes off. This brand starts to fly and grow in Korea. I'm telling you, every single K-pop, I don't know if you guys listen to K-pop, but every single K-pop star is wearing my face. So I'm gonna just show you right now all of the people that wore my face. This guy, how many followers? What the, this girl. She has half a million likes on a selfie wearing my shirt or wearing my face. Half a million likes on a selfie. 
What? Meanwhile, they're selling this shirt. Guess how much they're selling this shirt for? $50. 50 US dollars. Can you believe that? You know how much I got from that? You know how much percentage I got from the amount of shirts they sold? Zero. They probably sold thousands of my face. More people. Bam, bam, bam. There's another K-pop star, bam. They did a photo shoot with kids in LA all wearing my face. Bam, bam, bam. More, more. <sighs> do you see this? I don't know what exactly to do. And then on the back, there's just this random quote that they just stuck on the back of this shirt to try and make it seem more artsy, I guess. But no, I didn't write this. It's just kind of, it's kind of just messed up that they didn't, they really didn't tell me that they were gonna do this on a broad scale. And I don't believe I signed anything that allows them to use my image in, in a way to make money off of it. Also gave me one in yellow. I have one in white. There's this, the price. I don't really know what to do, like, I could try and, you know, maybe sue them because assuming that if you have half a million likes on a photo with a shirt, it's like how you know when Frank Ocean wears a t-shirt and it sells out. That's how it is in Korea with these K-pop stars. So I assume since all these K-pop stars wore my face or this shirt that it sold a lot a ton of them and this brand has a lot of money too they're opening cafes and stores all throughout korea so it's just like sad to see that they just you know took advantage of a kid that didn't really know what he was doing or have a following or a, or a manager or an agency or somebody to you know have have their back and just decided to use their image for money yeah Otherwise, you know, modeling is, is all cool, but there's always those things, you know, where they can take advantage of you and they might, you know, decide to do something that you don't agree with. Also, the pricing and and what you what you work for is is your set your margin, set your price. Um, at the end of the day, the reason why I made this is just the fact that how crazy my face has been throughout all throughout this whole world in Korea, LA, you know, different cities, I'm sure. And nobody has any idea who this kid is and like exactly why they're wearing this shirt other than the fact that because Nerdy decided to do it and because they stole my image. And I have the, I have the actual photo up here. Let me get the photo. Here it is. That's me. So I just took a photo of this and sent it to them. And this is the one they used on the t-shirt. That's the nerdy t-shirt. And that's me. Comment down below what you think I should do. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram to see more outfit photos, modeling. I'm working on some clothing, so designs and... New York City, so peace.